Hi, I'm Ellen Gormley and welcome to my channel. Let's talk a few methods, about a few methods of adding a new color to a piece of work. It can be either in rounds or in rows, it doesn't matter. I have this pretty little circle here that's gonna be my guide. And I have video tutorials on how to make a flat circle, how to do uh, math for, for hats and that kind of thing. So check those out. I'll put the link in the description below. One method for adding um, a single crochet to a piece of work is to place a slip knot on your hook and do a standing single crochet, similar to the standing double crochet video that I think I have up already, but if I don't, it's coming soon. So place a slip knot on the hook, then insert the hook in the stitch where you want to join, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through both loops on the hook. Now you have joined with a single crochet and you can continue working as the pattern specifies. So if it says join with a single crochet, that's how you do it. So it looks like a single crochet. The tail is at the top of the stitch and you can go right on along. Now joining this method is awesome because it really blends in well. It's not an obvious way of joining. So when you go all the way around or, or turn if you're working with rows, um, it's, it looks like all the other stitches. It doesn't look different. Here's another method. I like this method a little bit less because it does look different. Another method is to simply hold the cut working tail on the back side of the fabric, insert the hook where you want to begin the new stitch, pull up a loop, chain one, then single crochet in that first stitch. So now we have this extra little blob of yarn down here. The, the good thing is the tail is at the bottom of the stitch so I can now work over it, but that's really pretty inconsequential. But when I would go all the way around, I would keep working. I've got this little extra blob of yarn where I pulled up a loop and chained one, and that doesn't make for the smoothest joining. So that is like my less preferred way to do it, but it's perfectly acceptable, and you should do the way that you like to do. So one more method for joining a single crochet to a piece of work, you can also place a slip knot on your hook, put your hook in the stitch where you wanna add the single crochet, pull up a slip stitch, chain one, then single crochet. So there's a lot more extra blob there than necessary, but that is the way that some people do it. So I in, inserted, made with a, inserted with a slip stitch, so there's an extra slip stitch there, and then single crochet. So it's kind of like a waste of yarn and there is a little bit of a blob there. And that's why I do not like that method, but I like the first one of a standing single crochet the best. So let me show you the standing single crochet one more time. I'd like to give a shout out to Cynthia M, Edna M, Judy M, Kim R T and Mary S. M-E-R-R-I-E. Yes. Okay, so the standing single crochet, remember, is place a slip knot on the hook, insert the hook in the stitch where you want to join the yarn, pull up a loop through the fabric, yarn over and pull through two loops on the hook. It's a single crochet, and it looks like all the other single crochets, so it seems like one of the better ways to go, in my opinion. Please like and subscribe, and stay tuned with the notifications bell for more videos. Thanks so much.